Okay, this is just going to be a quick video. Um, this is just a quick little video about what is inside of an AC operated clock. A uh, person named Blue Thunder Boom uh, commented on one of my videos a couple days ago. So I decided I would do it today. There's really not much inside. I took this movement apart because I had to service it and replace one of the gears. Common failure. Uh, you can see there's just the ins this, this the case. I gotta clean this. It's just the plastic outside case. Nothing special. Uh, right there is where the knob would go if this movement had a knob, but it doesn't have a knob to set the time. Has a, you just move the hands. Uh, put that off to the side. Here's the movement itself. There's not much to these. This is a movement that does not have animation or an alarm or anything. It's just a basic clock movement. Have a second hand, an hour hand, a minute hand. Not much to it. You can see. Start off at the front. I'm not going to take this apart. I just put it back together a few minutes ago. So here's the cord. Couple wire nuts. These two little black wires go to this black thing here. That's the windings. Or winding. It's just a copper wire wrapped around a plastic bobbin. And then... Uh, that inducts the magnetic field into the metal frame of this particular movement. This is a sunbeam movement. And you can see some reduction gearing. Get a flashlight. You can see it way better. A little flashlight go. Seems that I've lost my really little flashlight in the course of two hours. I am willing to bet you it probably is on the end of my bed with the other movements and my tools. A couple of screwdrivers and stuff is probably laying under there. That's not a big deal, I'll use this one. See, pivots, that white thing there is just a pivot. That's interesting, this light actually pulses. It's not the camera because it'll do if I put it up against the fan or something it'll also pulse uh, without the camera looking at it with my eyes so you can see there's a pivot there right there right there that's where the knob would go right there that's part of a sliding mechanism for like a snooze button on an alarm clock right there there are many different designs and ages of these movements of electric clock movements so there's also Telecron, which was GE, at Timex, um, this is a Sunbeam, Sessions, United, uh, Spartus, General Time, which made Seth Thomas and West Clocks, Synchron, which is who made the movement in that clock right there, or at least the motor in that clock. And these are, this is just what I happen to be working on right now. See, so looking down there, and looking at the front, there's more pivots. There's a pivot, you can see it's mounted on a little spring, little metal spring. Not all of these have that, but as you can see, the little black things are pushing. Those two things are just how is a little uh, pinch in the metal where the spring is mounted. There's a pivot, another pivot. Gearing. Uh, these are the mounting posts. This is just a little, that little thing right there is just uh, the plastic is where an alarm mechanism would get attached to. Like this square piece right here. And that little metal piece in there is just the screw for this. Looking in the movement now. Let's see this. To shine in, maybe this one might be better. A little, you can kind of see the pivot right, the uh, pinion right there, pinion gear. That black disc right there is the rotor, the motor. Those little teeth are the magnetic poles. See that gear has a design on the back, that's because right there you see that flat piece of metal right below that spring. That is the auto correction if the motors were to start backwards that would correct it. The little spring just puts pressure on it so 
it can it acts as a clutch. It's more gearing. And there's a friction clutch in there. Probably if I go in the, if I look in this way, you might be able to see it. You see that uh That little X shape piece of metal right there with all the grease on it. That's a friction clutch that allows you to set the time. That allows the hands to slip so you can set the time. And that's mounting posts. There's that spring. Uh, just the screws. That's about it. There's really not much to it. If you want to see like an alarm clock or something or a clock with animation, I can also do that. But just for now, this is the basic insides of an electric clock. This is a sunbeam movement. There are many different versions of many different companies and stuff that made these movements. So they would obviously each company would differ and pretty drastically, but the same same principles, but the designs are radically different. But that's okay. There's if you want to see the model number. There it all is. M O uh, dot E twenty nine three three two hundred and twenty volts sixty hertz two watts. Yeah. And I can do a quick show of it running real quick if you want. Let me do that. Okay. Watch that gear right there. There you go. You can see it vibrating, watch. Maybe they didn't do it at that time. And if it starts up, we can hear a click once in a while. Not that loud on this movement. I don't know if it picked that up, but that was the uh, auto correction. Engaging. There you go. So now I just gotta clean this case up and put it back all together. That will be good. Thanks for watching.